In my previous video, I have talked in detail about RNA interference or RNAi in regulation of gene expression. I have also discussed how miRNA and siRNA are involved in RNA interference. You can check out my detailed video on how RNA interference works and its application here. Its link is given in the description below. Hello and welcome back to Technique series of Explore Bio with Dr. Abhishek. miRNA and siRNA are two most common methods of regulation of gene expression. But have you ever got confused between miRNA and siRNA? If yes, then you are not alone. This video breaks down these two gene regulating tools explaining what makes them similar and what are the key differences between the two. First let's see why most people confuse us between the two terms. Both miRNA and siRNA are short double stranded RNA that are involved in post transcriptional gene silencing or PTGS through mechanism called as RNA interference. Within an organism, both miRNA and siRNA precursors are synthesized by RNA polymerase 2. Both these precursors are processed by DICER, which is an endoribonuclease class 3, leaving a 2 base pair overhangs at 3 prime ends. These overhangs allow the RNA to bind with the ergonaut protein forming RISC or RNA induced silencing complex. Upon association with RISC, both these RNA results in gene silencing. Due to these similarities, people often get confused between the two. Now let's see what makes siRNA and miRNA different from each other. We will see the differences based on their origin, processing, specificity for target mRNA and role in cellular processes. miRNA is generally endogenous in origin or you can say that it is naturally produced in an organism. On the other hand, siRNA can be endogenous but generally exogenous in origin which means siRNA may be naturally produced in a cell but mostly artificially introduced from outside. Differences based on the processing of RNA and gene regulation. Primary miRNA occurs as imperfect stem loop structure which is processed by drosha to form precursor miRNA within the nucleus. Next it is processed by DICER after getting exported by exporting 5 to the cytoplasm. Thus miRNA processing is a two step process which leads to the formation of 19 to 25 base pair long mature miRNA. The miRNA duplex then forms RISC with ergonaut protein. After unwinding, one of the strands of miRNA duplex helps RISC to target mRNA resulting in translation inhibition or mRNA cleavage. Sometimes miRNA function through DICER independent pathway also, although this mechanism is poorly understood. On the other hand, in case of siRNA, it is generally introduced to the cell externally as long double stranded RNA. This is directly cleaved by DICER to short mature siRNA of 21 to 23 nucleotides long. Thus siRNA processing is a single step process. Unlike miRNA, drosha is not involved in siRNA processing. After binding with RISC, the passenger strand of siRNA is degraded and the guide strand is involved in mRNA targeting for cleavage. Differences based on target specificity. miRNA can interact with mRNA through partial complementarity and therefore it can interact with multiple mRNA targets. As a result, one miRNA can alter expression of multiple genes in a network. Thus, miRNA has broader regulatory role in an organism. siRNA on the other hand, bind to the target mRNA through perfect or near perfect complementarity. As a result, siRNA generally targets single mRNA and are highly specific in action. But there are incidences that show siRNA shows off targeting effect. Therefore, siRNA designing needs efforts and validation becomes crucial. Due to perfect base pairing, siRNA inhibits protein expression by cleavage of mRNA. When miRNA shares perfect complementarity, it leads to degradation of mRNA but when pairing is imperfect, it may result in translation inhibition. Now let's see what are the differences based on the role in cellular processes. miRNA plays a broader role in gene regulation by affecting expression of network of genes, influencing various processes like development, differentiation and metabolism. siRNA targeting is highly specific and thus are primarily used to silence specific genes for research and therapeutic purpose. For example, siRNA targeting of coat protein of tomato yellow leaf curl virus reduced disease occurrence in tomato plants. Thus siRNA can be used to generate disease resistant transgenics. I hope this video clears your confusion between miRNA and siRNA. Check out my other videos on techniques, research and publishing, AI tools, genetics, nutrition and health and lot more. Stay connected for more such interesting stuffs. Thanks and I will see you in my next video.